Nice. Go, uh, Jace. As soon as it landed down, a little fella. Look at that. He was on the other side of that mm. rock, though. Ooh. Nice. Gel and stuff. Ooh. Only a little fella. Check that out, Nige. That's what we came for. Mm. Sweet. Look at that. Cranky. Cranky fish. He, uh, One of your friends. See how far he came out of the water. They just virtually launched themselves. I've had them completely out of the water with the popper in their mouth. It's mm. just, they're just uh, great little fish. First fish of the morning, mate, and um, sun's just coming up. Our feet are already wet because we've had to get out and push. We've come through some pretty nasty stuff. Back in nowhere, but we've got a good tool for the job today. Mate, uh, if we're going to go and do some exploring in some pretty nasty country, what better boat than my uh, tough old polycraft? So it's seen some uh, tough times, this boat, mate. You and I have been in some pretty nasty stuff before, but it's still floating. Mate. And it floats in about this much. There's two of us running around in it. It's made for stuff like this, casting it. Nasty fish in backwaters of nowhere. Mate, I, I reckon there wouldn't be a polycraft out there that has seen as much shallow, rocky, nasty stuff as this one. This one's nearly eight years old, and it's come to this place where we are now in the baffle, which is, as you've already noticed, full of rock, full of shallow, nasty, nasty stuff. stuff. Bounces all around, tough and quiet. Can't hear a thing. And when we're doing, you know, we're chasing fish on surface, so you don't want them hearing any hull slapping or noise. Mate, nice, quiet boat. Now, that one was the first one. I reckon we might get a few more today. Yeah, yeah, it's still under it. Still under it. Still under it. Oh! Oh, yes, yes. that's good. Oh! oh. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, it's all over pretty quickly, isn't it? <laughs> One way or the other. Oh. You had three goes at it. Hold on. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Mate. Gold. Doesn't Whoop. get much better than that, does it? Look Jack's on that. service. And how many times do you have a go at that? Oh, you just kept, kept working it and kept working it. The heart's going and it makes you want to go faster. Hey buddy, you watch this. Hello. Oh, <laughs> that is gold. This is why we put the effort in. We've got the, a fair bit of effort when I say that because we're in very shallow water, bouncing off rocks, across the shallows, and I'd, that's the reward. That's it, mate. Get, right. get to see something like a predator, like a jack, eat a surface lure. You go, what else is better than that? Mm, it's going to be a tough call. It's a tough call, <laughs> mate, isn't it? Hey? Oh, look at Jeez. Oh, go hard. <laughs> Speaking of big mullet getting chased. Oh, that's an impressive oh, in rock. Get oh. him up, get him up, get him up. Oh, oh. Did you? Did you? Tell you what, mate. That was a, a big fish. fish. <laughs> it was a big fish. Straighten the two reels. <laughs> well, this is one of the joys of when you're doing this sort of thing is you never know how big the fish are going to be. And that jack that just uh, straightened those hooks was big. It was a cracker. I worked in on the shallows, pulled it out on the edge of the deeper water and just paused it and paused it. I was watching Nidals and then that fish just smashed it. You see, it? You see the hit, Nidals? Yeah. You could hear it. But, uh, he had me in the rocks. So I had to go hard and that's what happens, you know. You gotta go hard, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. So oh, yeah. I keep doing it. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, come on! <laughs> Okay, so notice when you're fishing up the front of the boat here, you've got two rods which you're alternating quite a lot. Different style lures on them, a pencil style popper and also a cup face popper. So what's your thinking, day like this, different retrieves, different approaches? 
Exactly, Nige. One of the things that I find when you when you're fishing, and you, you know, we've come out specifically to catch jacks on poppers. Yeah. So, I have two favourite poppers. So what happens is I have little areas that I really like to walk the dog, yep. and I have little areas that I really like the cup face. If I don't have two rods rigged, I'm never going to pick up that cup face where I think I should fish it. So I'm, I always end up getting stuck using the one rod yep. and the one lure, and I might not be happy and 100% confident in what I'm doing in that spot. Yep. So hence the reason I have the two rods, the two poppers. Yep. So when I get to a spot, especially right now, we've got a little bit of breeze now, I really like the, the walk the dog on a nice, smooth, calm, in the back of the snag where there's no ripples because it walks and it creates a beautiful bow wave. But as soon as you get a bit of ripple or it needs a little bit more love, a little bit more life, the little frenzy popper's got a bit of a cup face, so I can make a little bit more splash and a bit more movement for those fish to find that uh, lure in. Perfect, and, and just alternate till you find a pattern on any given day. Yep. And then when you start, you stick to it. You stick to it. We found so far today that the, the, the cultiva has been doing really well, but now it's sort of like half time, change sides, up comes the wind. Yep. I will probably start fishing the frenzy a bit more now because I'm going to need to create a little bit more swoosh yep. and let those fish find that lure. Perfect. And different style lures, obviously different shapes, require different rod work in your retrieve? Absolutely. If you did the same sort of blooping sort of retrieve with a, with a cup face on a sliding type of lure, it's, it's going to dart, but it's not going to be a nice smooth run. It's going to be a bit too erratic. The idea of the what they call a zipping ziggy is that a nice gentle rod twitch, rod twitch wind, and it makes that lure work nice just like that. The other one, you pull the rod tip, splashes. You can still zip and ziggy it a bit, but you get a totally different action. And as well, the tip down, bloop, throws more of that water. Absolutely. More noise. More noise. Sometimes is good, sometimes is bad. That's why we have them both rigged. If we find that the, we're not getting much with the too much noise, go to subtle. If the subtle isn't working, you're getting a few smooshes, but not quite the commitment, then we might go to a bit more noise to get that reaction strike. And get out in the water for the first time. If you're not necessarily sure, hey, what lure do I start with? Just have a look in the water. Like, let your eyes show you. There's a lot of garbing smooching around today, like little V lines Absolutely. on the water. Great time to throw something like the cultiva that looks the perfect imitation of your little gars. Absolutely, those little gar fish are, are probably why we're doing so well today because there's thousands of them in the system. They're about that long and they're just darting just under the surface and you know, that is just a, a prime wounded little gar fish. Like something's already had a go at it, so it's a bit wounded, a bit dazed and wandering around on the surface which makes it an easy meal. All right, all right, we've got two, two options. You try one, I'll try the other, eh? Let's log it in. Oh yes! Yep. Go, go, go! You just lost control! <laughs> lost control. Uh, like Very I was saying, smash. Nige, there's chunky there's bits all through there. there. He's got to keep that head up. Oh, nice. Fish, oh, right? yes, nice fish. Oh, no. We were just talking about lure colours. I mean, Jace fishes this place a lot. And I was throwing a surface lure with a very oh. white belly, and Jace has been chucking around the gold, gold and orange. And I said, What colour do you like? And he said, I like the gold around here, and I think that was maybe first cast with the that gold. Was, so that sometimes, was the first cast a bit of local knowledge. And maybe just contrast, something a bit of flash, a bit of contrast, you know, something they can see against maybe a white sky. And uh, benefits of local knowledge sometimes, mate. I love that noise. Thanks, Chase. I'm my first, well, of course, for a couple of small ones, these are my first legal baffle jack. Nice, isn't it? Fantastic. Sneaking up in the. Sneaking, uh, mate. We are, and we poly. certainly are sneaking. Dead and quiet. these days, get the right tools on board and you enjoy your fishing much more and it becomes more effective. You know, we've got a boat that's sneaking over shallows up here and it's allowing us to explore. One of the nicest things about fishing, mate, exploring, seeing new fish and catching them on surface. How good is that? That is beautiful. i tell you what, but the only thing that would be better than, than that is if I catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Start out the day, Jace, you know, run out tide, we're sitting around the rock walls and that chasing fish and getting them there. Now that the tide's turned, sun's up a bit higher, we're hitting these other banks that were shallow at the start of the day. You know, weed beds and stuff like that, and that, that you find the fish do move around a lot in some of your jack systems. Oh, absolutely. But it's one of those things, a lot of people go and target their mangrove jack on the rocks, and they're there. A lot of the times when the tide's low, that's the deepest part. Yep. So they go and station there, and you can catch a few of them there. But they hunt, a lot of the fish are hunting actively in the shallows. 
once that tide changes, you know, the, the rock bars aren't the primary yeah. spot to go and target them. There's other places to catch them. Other places. Well, all that, to keep it up here. Just keep it up here. When you, when you have a look at the bait fish, they're, they're right up in the shallows. They're looking for food and places yep. to hide. You know, if, if you want to food, feed, you don't go to a hardware store, do you? You go to where the food is, and that's, where the, that's why the jacks are up in those shallows. They're looking for something to eat, yep. and that's where the food is, so that's where they are. Fair enough to find the food. Find the fish. Find the fish. That's the one there, didn't it? Had to oh. be. Bushka. Here's some set of chompers and shoulders. Doesn't matter how big they are, mate. I don't know. They, uh, they just go from 0 to 100 in very small time. That's the reason. Now the tackle, you've got to think through the tackle you use on these guys a bit, whether it's bait caster or spin. We're both throwing around spin outfits today because we're casting relatively light surface lures. Jason and I are both using tackle in about that three to six kilo range. 10 to 12 pound braid, 20 pound liters. Uh, you just got to give them a bit of credit. They know how to dust you up very quickly, don't they, Jace? They certainly do, as we found out today. Uh-huh. Anyway, beautiful fish. Thanks for that. They just hold for that second and they go, I'm going to wait you on the way. Yes. That's brilliant, mate. What an awesome session. Fantastic, eh? Coming here with a good mate, South East Queensland Estuary. Well known for their jacks, especially if you get up the top reaches where not a lot of people get to go. You know, water's clear enough to chuck surface lures and how exciting is that? Getting in the, mm. get in the right spot, twitch. Twitch, twitch, boom. There, we had a lot of twitch, twitch, boom. That last one, I've got to say, what a great way to end the day. A nice little, it was just perfect. Bit of shade, bit of run in underneath that log. Nigel just flicked that little cult heaver in there. It hadn't even tweaked it. it didn't, you didn't even get a flick. No, flick. He no. just landed, went splash, boof, straight on. Game on. Way to get awesome. the adrenaline going. What a great day. I'd like to say we've got to go home now, but I reckon just after that one, one or two casts are in order. <laughs> Sneak a couple in. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.